Hello everybody, it is Toby here back for another episode of Minecraft The Lord of the Rings over hill and today we are starting things off by this dwarven mine that we found just having a little bit of a smoke which is a good thing to do and yeah we've got a couple things we need to do today and what should be in there I'm not entirely sure but yeah, we are going to complete this quest off that we started in the last episode. We have found a dwarven mine to explore and we are trying to make it over the other side of the Blue Mountains back into Linden, which is going to be good fun in this episode. Hopefully we can find that last... Uh, um, oh, got a little bit of thing in my throat. That last orc that we need to... There he is. We need to slay two more orcs. How did that deflect? There we go, got him. Some leggings and stuff. We got some fur legs, which we don't really want. Do we want these? Yeah, we don't need you either. We need to kill some more. And thank you for the huge, huge support on this series. I started this series just a couple weeks ago, and already it is doing incredibly on the channel as usually my Lord of the Rings series do, so I'm very thankful to all of those hardcore Lord of the Rings Toby fans that watch this video, and all of those who came to my channel because of the Lord of the Rings and have stuck around and watched my other series and such. I uploaded a vlog yesterday, which was uh, unboxing my Lego Millennium Falcon. I recommend you go check that out. That video is doing incredibly as well, so yeah, thank you for all of that. And I hope you enjoy this episode. This episode may be a little shorter, depending on how much time I actually have. Because it is an evening after school, hence why the uh, videos are becoming a little scarcer. But I am trying my best to keep on top of it, uh, whilst the workload hasn't increased too much. But over the course of the next two years, my workload with school is going to increase dramatically. So, yeah, I'm going to try and stay on top of making videos, but... Do not be surprised if videos sort of teeter off a little bit in the coming years. But hopefully, I'll be able to stay relatively on top of it. And hopefully I'll be able to find this last Gundabad Orc we need to slay. Do we have any more quests to do? No, just 11 of these Gundabad Orcs. There's one. Perfect. May as well slay some more. There we go. Slay some of them, we'll collect up what they have to offer. Not a whole lot. Right. Let's go back to that dwarven mine and explore that and then go and complete the quest with what's his name? Azakal, son of Gloin, which is or Gloin, I meant to say. And Okay, we're getting attacked by this guy. What do you want? <laughs> get knocked back. Come at me, Ratlap. Come on, you can't get near me. Just getting smacked out of the way. Getting some very bad alignment with the Gundabad Orcs, but you know. Why not? Why not kill Orcs? It's what we're here to do. Why not? We're the good guys. Well, depends what point of view you're looking for, but to be honest, even if you're the point of view of the Orcs, I think you know you're the bad guys. So, yeah, we're the good guys. We are the friends of the Blue Mountains, uh, the Elves and the Men. The Hobbits, of course, the good peoples of Middle-earth. Which is good, but we are down here in this dwarven mine, and what do we have here? Where's my pickaxe? Okay. We don't have a pickaxe, so I guess I'll take this one. Interesting. My pickaxe went missing. Right, we got our new dwarven thing. We got some dwarves down here. Hello. But these mines are usually a good place to find some loot. What's going on down here? I heard. Someone take damage. Yeah, we don't want to get lost in here either, though. That wouldn't be a good thing to do, so... Keep an eye on where we are going and try and remember where we came from, because you know me, I'm not that great with directions. This guy's got a little cap thing on. Right, we don't want to get lost. That is the last thing we want to do, is get lost. But knowing me, we're going to get lost. So prepare to get lost, essentially. We have over here. Do we have anyone that can give us any loot of any form whatsoever? Some shiny weird ore thing there. Not a chest, not nothing. 
Okay, it goes down a little bit. What's this? Ooh. Amethyst, that looks, that looks cool. We'll go, grab that. What's this? Opal. Interesting. What's you? Tin, not interesting. We don't want tin. Tin's not exciting. What is that? I've fallen. What is that? What are you? Rock salt. Uh, no, thank you. How have I managed to get underneath some iron there? How have I, how did I, how have I, of all people, managed to get underneath the mine? And I've completely disoriented myself. Of course I have, it's me, of course we're going to get lost. Oh. I shouldn't complain too soon, I guess. So we didn't get lost. It's down here. Anything? These mines are a little disorienting. What are you? Nitre. Don't seem too important. Don't really want to do too much mining. It's more about the adventuring. Right, I think that's about it for what we're going to see down here. Not too much. We didn't find a chest, unfortunately. But you know what? It doesn't matter too much. Let's have a... Can you smoke on a ladder? We can indeed. You. No, 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 no. <sighs> Lesson. Don't mess around on ladders. Where have we spawned? Oh, God, we're just in the middle of nowhere. All right, we'll try and aim for Asgal. But we have spawned a little ways away. <laughs> so we just need to sort of get sort of straight south. Which is over here. By a different mine, ironically. But we're all the way up. Yeah, so we're going to have a little bit of a run through the wilderness is essentially what we're going to do. Hopefully we'll find some things. A little detour. Crossing the mountains may be a little bit hellish, but you know what? It doesn't matter. We're going to have a fun trip anyway. Why not? We got our... Th uh, our matic Oh, that's why we got rid of our pickaxe. I haven't recorded this in a, a week, so... I thought that was a throwing axe. But no, it's a matic, of course, it's a matic. I bet you're all commenting, what's the matic with you? You're uh, Ignore the pun. If you are a fan of puns and you appreciated that, please comment down below, because I work very hard on my puns and it almost never gets appreciated. I thought that was quite good. Get like, what's the matic with you? You already had a mattock in your... Uh, like, what's the matter? I don't need to explain it. If you got it, you got it. If you didn't, you're not a pun master general like myself. So, I, I'm i going to grant myself the rank of... Do they, you know, they have, like, titles. Do they have pun master general? Pun master general. P... Peacekeeper. No, no pun master general. Sick Joker. No. Wanderer is what we have. Warmonger. Blue Dwarf say Bartender. Artisan Architect. Adventurer. Drunkard. Explorer. East Valding Farmer. Free Peoples. Gaffer. Gundavad Orc say a Halfling. Hobbit. Hobbit Slayer. Hobbiton Hunter. Linden Elf Slayer. Longbottom. Marksman. Matham Keeper. Mercenary Merchant. Mickle Delving. Nope, we don't have any pun master generals. So I am still Wanderer Tobster's Chom Chom. Or Wanderer Toby. Or Wanderer Toby Chom Chom if you want. Or just simply an easy way to remember it is the Ugly Wanderer. But you know what? I don't really want to be remembered as the Ugly Wanderer like that pub. But we got a little, ha some. Dwarf houses to raid. We may as well go in there and say hello to our dwarf friends. We didn't do that this episode. We did that last episode, but... Oh, actually, is it just a cave? If it's just a cave, I'm going to be really disappointed because that's just boring. Yeah, it's just a cave. I'm bored. It's not fair. These mountains are not fun to traverse. Where's the road? We need to get to the road. 
Wish I had someone with me to share the load, like Sam. I just remember that scene from the film where it goes all slow-mo and weird and he just goes, share the load in his accent. It just makes me laugh. I don't know why. Because it was like zooms in really close on his mouth, doesn't it? It's strange. It's really strange. But yeah, I'm going to stop referencing the films. Maybe, no, I'm not. We're playing Lord of the Rings. Why would I stop referencing the films? I'm going to stop referencing stupid parts of the films. Weird parts that don't really make a whole lot of sense. Which, well, they do make sense, but it was shot in a weird way, in my opinion. It just makes me laugh. It's kind of a funny thing, but... Yeah. Take a note on the scenery, by the way, and the clouds and everything. I hate bunny rabbits. They ain't... <laughs> like... A lot of you are going to take that out of context as me just slaying rabbits, but if you hadn't seen the first episode, I was trying to explain... No, a second episode, I mean, start the second episode. I was trying to explain how rabbits, basically what they do, is I'd be planting myself some uh, flax to grow, and rabbits, what they do is they immediately, it's, it's in their code to come and eat crops. These are the modded rabbits, not the rabbits in vanilla. So, I've been trying to plant and grow flax for ages to get enough flax for this backpack over here. My big backpack, which we can actually store some stuff in. They can go in our valuables pouch, actually. We don't want some orc drill. I guess this stuff can go in here. And there's some plates. And then in our valuables, we can put our opal and amethyst. And in our workstation, we can put our little dwarf oven. There we go, a bit cleaned up. But in this big backpack, it cost a hell of a lot of string uh, to make some bound leather, which I needed to get string, so I grew flax. And it took about three times as long as it should have, because rabbits, even though I built a fence, kept finding a way in and eating all the crops. So I think I went through about three plantations of those flax strings over the course of about three hours to actually gather enough to do it, and of course I didn't show that on camera because that would have been a very boring episode, but that is why I have a hating for Minecraft modded Lord of the Rings rabbits. I don't hate rabbits for real life, I actually have a rabbit, but it's just in this mod, rabbits annoy me how they're programmed to eat crops. If that makes sense, which hopefully it should. We're getting there, we're almost there. We're sort of skirting the edges uh, of the foothills, uh, bordering the actual mountains themselves to make traversing this terrain a little easier for ourselves which is good i'm glad we're doing this but hopefully we'll be able to get some good alignment for slaying all those gundabad orcs because yeah that took us a while and then we'll be able to make our trek out of the blue mountains and make it back to linden to start our round trip down into fallon all the way back into the Shire, over to the Old Forest and the Barrow Downs, and then we'll go through them and link back up to Bree. And then from Bree, we will just make our way into the Lone Lands and such, which should be good. And I think they added Rivendell now. Where's Rivendell? Rivendell's over. Yeah, they added they added Rivendell, which is good, because that wasn't there last time we played this map. And then, of course, we'll go up into the north, and it'll just be kind of a good thing. It'll be nice. We'll just have a bit of explore. Which is nice. We'll just have a little bit of a run around on our quest. In fact, I did say I was going to be sticking majoritively to the road. So I may stick to that and make a little detour through the old forest of Barrow Downs. Because that's quite exciting. Up into Breeland. And then follow the road over to Rivendell. Rivendell, I mean. Go over through straight through Mirkwood. Actually, no, we'll go up and through the Woodland Realm. Because we can stop off at Erebor. We'll go down here. Go up into the Iron Hills. Follow this down... Uh, follow the road then down through into the brown, uh, brown lens, take a round trip uh, around this road up back to here, uh, having a look at Rohan and stuff and Gondor, through Mordor, out into Rune, and then coming back to go down into Harad. That sounds good. That was like the entire season goal for this mod pack, which is cool. I'm glad we're doing it, because all of the episodes near enough of the old season, which went really well, have over 100 views, and a lot of them have over 200 views, which is crazy for a person of my size on YouTube. It's absolutely crazy. But yeah, we found another 
Dwarf House, hello, hello. What do you have for us to steal? Is this pickaxe any good? But no, we because we have a mattock. We don't need a pickaxe. It's handy. There's a sword. Hardy. Don't need you. Golden nugget. What do you have in your chest? Pike, we don't need you. Hello, hello. Just don't mind me, I'm stealing your stuff. Nothing to it. Yeah, we don't need any more food. We got plenty of food in our food pouch, so I think the houses will take a miss on for now. Um and have a look. I mean it's just tools we can really get out of them, like in a better battle axe, uh Warhammer, I mean. It's a hefty dwarf and Warhammer plus one knockback. That's why it was so effective. But hopefully we can find a Warhammer that gives us a little bit extra melee attack. Because, I mean, that would be just incredible, wouldn't it? That would be amazing. If we managed to get ourselves a, a Warhammer that gave us extra attack. Because then we'd be cool. Hey, there's, there's the, that's the road. Well, that didn't take long. We found the road. We need to keep heading west. I believe. Yep, west. Yeah, that is west, right? Yeah, of course it is. I'm get, I always get confused. It's strange. But this is, in fact, the road we came into the Blue Mountains on. That is the screenshot from the first episode. Uh, the first episode we were in the Blue Mountains. So last episode is what I meant to say. I didn't finish off my full thing. But we're back, which is good. Meaning we will be passing uh, Mr... The son of Gloin, I don't remember his actual name. We'll be passing him on his way. Uh, as a girl. We'll be passing him. He's on the road, so we should find him pretty soon. And we'll be able to tell him, yep, we've done you. We've done your thing. Give us money. Give us alignment. We helped. Which is going to be a good thing to do. So, yeah, wow. What about that? What about that for a view? It's incredible. I love this mod. I absolutely love the terrain of this mod. It's incredibly amazing, and I love it, which is good. And the mod's still being developed. I've been playing this mod for years, and it's still being developed, which is incredible. I'm really happy it's still being developed. But yeah, where, where's the guy? It's a little bit on. So it's not you, it's the next guy. But yeah, it's still being developed, which is incredible. And they're adding so much more stuff since I first played it. It's crazy. Here we are. We've done your thing. You look like a veteran, so we'll say hello. Plus 12, welcoming halls, which means, what? Complete a Blue Mountains mini quest. We've done it. Thank you very much. We got a lot of alignment with the Blue Mountains now. Which is cool. And now we'll just keep running and we'll go up to Nogrod and then straight down. Straight out. Which should be fun. I may cut this episode a little short. Just because I'm conscious of the time. I don't want to run on too long. I don't think I'll be able to squeeze out an entire hour episode. So it may be half an, half an episode. A half hour episode. I'm trying my best to keep it an hour long though. But maybe my, my goal will be to get to Dog Rod. And then we'll see whether that gives me enough time on this episode or not, whether it's like we'll get there in the next five minutes or we'll get there in the next half an hour, I don't know. But fingers crossed we will make it to Nogrod alright. And I can title this episode Venturing to Nogrod or something. Should be cool. But yeah, Blue Mountains always, always amaze me. They never cease to amaze me. It's incredible how amazing they are. Did we raid this house? I don't remember how far we actually came, but we'll have a look. Hello, hello. Come down here. Got some boots. Your boots any good? Just normal blue dwarven boots. You got a mattock. Hardy mattock. And ours is a handy mattock. I want tool speed rather than durability. What are you? Oh no, it's just gone straight in. Blue dwarf steel. That will be a good thing to commandeer. And just as a basic resource, we won't steal any food. We don't need it. Yeah, there we go. Continuing on westward, we are going, so that's good. Don't, I keep looking at the sun because I don't know why. It's probably not a good thing to do, but you know what, I don't mind. Just have a little smoke of our lasting Hobbit pipe, which is good. I mean, spending three episodes in the Blue Mountains may get a little tiresome, but at the end of the day, I have school and Nogrod is approaching a little bit, but I, th I think we will just end it off in Nogrod today. I, I don't feel I don't feel up to doing a whole hour 
after school. It's quite late already, so... I mean, it's approaching on half seven, and I usually start doing homework at seven, so... Decided to cut it a little fine and start my homework at like eight. <laughs> um, which... I know probably I shouldn't put this before my homework, but... I haven't recorded an episode of this in a week, so I thought I I should probably get an episode out for you guys. Rather than give it like another week until I can. Because there should be, fingers crossed, a big event going on at the weekend. We are going to, of course, do the SMPDX Dragon Fight at some point soon. And, I mean, that is possibly going on at the weekend. We just got to see how available everyone is, but... Hopefully that will happen at the weekend so we can get ourselves in lighter on that. That will be up on the channel, of course. I love recording those with everyone. It's so much fun. Usually we slay the beast in really quite a quick time. And I've probably got the best set of armor on the server at the moment just because I grinded out quite a bit. But, oh, we're at Nogrod already. But it's only been 20 minutes. Oh, we can continue. Why not? Let's go up to that house, though. But, yeah. You can see what I mean by... We don't want to go north up to there, but... Should we go to that house? It looks a bit a bit inaccessible, so we won't. We'll keep venturing. But, yeah, dragon fights are great. I love being able to hang out with everyone on SMPDX and record. Collaborations are probably my favourite videos to record because you just get really a raw sense of how people interact with each other, kind of off camera, but it's on camera. Like, uh, I would not fail to admit that I, 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 I would not, be ashamed to admit that I act differently off camera than on camera by myself Well, because I will obviously have less of a thought of what I'm saying when I'm off camera I always think about what I'm saying on camera whether what I'm saying is worth saying and whether I have a valid point to say especially in these talky episodes where I just ramble it may seem like I'm just rambling but I'm actually putting a lot of thought into what points I actually say and what actually gets discussed but in a collaboration um, and just when I'm off camera chatting with people it's a little more fluent it flows a little more when you sort of rely off of each other's um, each other's oh that's a good screenshot that might be the thumbnail there when you rely off of each other's conversation to um, make your conversation so Essentially, say I'm doing a collaboration with Fluff and he starts a conversation about Donald Trump, then that's a good thing to bounce off, whereas I wouldn't discuss... I probably wouldn't discuss that if I'm just talking to the camera here, but it could be an interesting way to get our views on that topic. So, that's just an example. But what I found is with collaborations, you just end up discussing... A lot that wouldn't usually be discussed on camera, off camera, which is kind of cool. Seems to have another dwarven mine down here, which we'll have a look at, but it's kind of cool to do that because as much as I like to ramble to you guys and give you my thoughts on here, you get more of a sense of what people actually think when you do a collaboration. This doesn't look particularly healthy. Don't think I can be bothered to go down there. Doesn't look like anything significant is down there anyway, so we'll give that one a miss. But. If you understand what I'm saying with that, that's why I like doing collaborations. And plus, it's more fun to be... F it's, it's good. It's fun to be featured on someone's channel because if they have more subscribers than you or a similar number of subscribers than you, as you, it's usually beneficial to both of you where their subscribers can see your content and see you as a person and come over and check you out but that's why I usually only collaborate with people of a similar sort of size or larger and people that I kind of know already uh, so my I can get my audience interested in someone else and their audience gets interested in me whereas if someone with say 20 30 subscribers comes to me and comments in my videos saying hey I'd love to collab with you I mean, I'll have a look at their content and stuff, but at the end of the day, they are going to gain a lot more out of it than I am. And as much as I'm a nice person, I've got to look out for myself rather than give people, like, free people, basically. And that doesn't sound like make me sound big-headed or anything, I hope, because I know I'm a very, very small channel. I've only got approaching 200 subscribers, but that to 
someone with 20 subscribers, that's 10 times the amount of subscribers they have. So if I'm collaborating with someone who has 10 times less subscribers than me, the maximum amount I can gain from that is 20. But realistically, if I put it realistically, by collaborating with someone, you you gain, let's say, for matter of equal equality and matter of just a nice number, let's say 10% of their subscribers. So if I collaborate with someone who has 200 subscribers, I am likely to gain at an average 20 subscribers and that m most usually probably doesn't happen but that's sort of like the upper bound of the average I can gain whereas if I collaborate with someone who has 20 subscribers I can gain two subscribers but they can gain 20 subscribers from me so I am giving them more than I am gaining and I like to gain I like to look after myself as well as looking after other people like if someone's like my close friend and i've known them for a long time say lack of a better example nano my friend nano german known him for pretty much my entire youtube career oh my god i've got my smpdx resource pack on that confused me Basically, on SMPDX, we have a... The owner is called the Lunatic, and he is obsessed with loons, and he made this texture pack that turns chickens into loons. And I forgot to turn it off for this video, because I usually turn it off for my Lord of the Rings videos. But no, we have got loons in Lord of the Rings. Confirmed. I'm going to take a screenshot of that to send to him. That's incredible. Anyway, back on topic. Nano. Known him for three years. We are really close on YouTube. He's a YouTube friend that I met through doing YouTube, in fact. I went... I actually met him on Exumavoid's public server, where I was asking him to help me name a uh, village that I was building. And, yeah, we've been friends ever since talking. He's on the SMPDX server, and Nano started YouTube probably about a year ago. And Nano is on, I think, about 30 subscribers, 30, 30 to 35 subscribers. And... I actually started talking to him when I was on a similar amount of subscribers, 30, 35 subscribers. And in fact, I joined SMPDX when I had 35 subscribers exactly. And that was in April of 2016. So it's been over a year I've been on SMPDX and quite a long time since I've known Nano. So Nano hasn't quite grown at the same exponential rate I have, which I'm just baffled by because I seem to have, for some reason, grown so much more than any of the other SMPDXs in such a short amount of time. Which is incredible, and I'm thankful for it, but I wish they could get the same exponential kind of growth that I'm getting. Exponential is probably not the right word. But they are getting the sort of same extreme growth that I'm getting. Um, so if you haven't already, I'd urge you to check everyone out in my featured channels. They're all the people I am hugely friends with on YouTube, and you should go and check them out and drop them a subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, particularly amazing ones who do very regular content are uh, Fluff, Medieval Architect, who does try to do regular content, but his content is of a very, very high standard with his build. He's a very, very building-focused YouTuber, and he does very, very high content stuff, very high-quality stuff, uh, and that's why it takes him a while to release things. And, uh, of course, the Lunatic, who I've mentioned already, he funds the SMPDX server. He also puts a hell of a lot of time into developing his videos, and they are usually of a very, very high uh, quality. Not in the same way as Fluff's got high quality, because Fluff's, what he's actually doing in his episode is a very high quality. Like, his builds, his the actual thing the video is centred around is very, very high quality. He's thought through every little detail is added to his builds, which is incredible. I mean, for lack of a better example, go check out his Catherine Palace video. Uh, whereas Loons is very high quality in a different way where he can just speak amazingly well and is extremely funny a lot of the time. And I think above all, his videos, um, out of all the SMPDXs, his are the funniest to watch. Which I'm not gonna... Uh, I don't say that lightly. His just are the funniest to watch. Which is quite... That's just the same thing. Because he always... Loon is just one of those YouTubers who has a very, very comedically... Uh, 
pleasing way of speaking. And, yeah, his content is just very high quality in the stuff he says. He tells a lot of stories in his content, which is also amazing. I love hearing about his life and stuff in that respect. So that's also incredible. Quirky Squid, he's the only SMPDXer with more subscribers than me. He's on about 260, I think, which I'm I'm approaching him. His content, he's a very music-focused YouTuber. He... Uh, can put very very high quality music out and I genuinely love watching his music content and I've used it in my videos in the past uh, for time lapses and such and he doesn't upload regularly of course because he puts a lot of time into making his music and stuff he also does make videos on the SMPDX server and he's very technical with redstone and he's the command wizard of the server which again if that's your thing go check him out Dat Nerd, Dat Nerd hasn't uploaded a video in a while. He's on a similar subscriber count to Nano, I believe, at 30 or 35. His videos are, I think, different. I think that's the best way to describe them. They aren't your typical bog-standard format of a Minecraft video. He makes, uh, like, he makes good jokes. He does decent builds. He does good redstone. It's just generally he's a very pleasing person to watch on YouTube. And that's probably my main reason for going to uh, watch his videos. Is they're just pleasing to watch. He does them in a way where it's just pleasing to me. And uh, of course then we come on to another person in my uh, feature channels. That is Chili1094. He has one video that he uploaded like two-ish years ago, which is an outro that I made when I wasn't good at video editing and stuff. Uh, You should all go bombard him with subscribers just to confuse him because why not? He doesn't watch my videos anymore. He's a good friend from school and I just put his channel in there because I don't know why I did, to be honest, but it's there. And just subscribe to him and comment on his video and stuff just to confuse him. Uh, Say, Toby sent me on on his only video. And I think that'll probably confuse him more than anything. And I should probably run away. I think I'm tired of slaying orcs for now. But there are quite there are quite a few. There are loads. Let's just keep running. Let's take some shots on this guy. Just clear our way. Let's just let's just run for now. And then finally we come on to Nano. Nano is a very funny YouTuber. He is he doesn't follow the particular format of a Minecraft YouTuber. Because his content isn't specifically Minecraft, he does Fallout, No Man's Sky, uh, Elder Scrolls, various content, he even does a, co- uh, a video on how to make skooma, and various epic flute solos, uh, the Fitness Grand Pacer Test makes a uh, debut on his channel, not debut, that's the first thing, makes an appearance on his channel, and uh, Nana's just hilarious, man. His content is just not what you'd expect, and that's why it's amazing. And you should definitely go check out Nano. Like, if you take anything away from this, just check out everyone. Stunted, that's not good. What's that? That's a poor Dolgaldor helmet. Poor, I don't want a poor one. I've got Dolgaldor helmet. Minus one protection. No, thank you. You could go in there. Uh, we want to put Orc Steel in our valuables as well. But yeah, back onto the point I was originally making, uh, before I go on a tangent of shouting everyone out but yeah i do recommend you definitely go and check out everyone that i've just mentioned because they are all incredible people and i highly recommend you go and watch them uh but back on to my main point hello well let's take care of them there we go good job my friend thank you goodbye uh but actually they have beds that sleep uh yeah nano has Nano's a YouTuber that I regularly uh, collab with, and I was making the point about how if I was to collab with Nano, he's got 30 subscribers, I would probably gain at most three if I haven't already gained the three that I didn't have already on my channel. Um, And he'd gain at most probably about 20, which he hasn't, of course, because he'd be on like 50 if he gained like 20 of my subscribers. And he, um, but I still collab with him as I would collab with any of the SMPDXs, no matter what subscriber count they are on. And that is because they are my friends. They are 
they are the people who have supported me from that point of like 20 30 subscribers all the way up to like roughly 200 which i mean that is those are the people who haven't collabed with me once and then gone like i've collabed with a couple people who i've collabed with and never spoken to again and i don't like doing that i only like collabing with people who i know i'm going to be keeping in contact with but it's just one of those things and oh we're back in linden nearly what a what a what a run i mean got pretty much distracted by the topic but i still collab with nano i still collab with any of the smpdx's because they are my friends and i'm hoping that by doing that the luck that i have gained with gaining my subscribers has ooh, there's a galadrian wanderer nearby i want to find him or her or whoever it is but i'm hoping that the luck i have gained with my subscribers uh, which I don't really know how happened, how it happened, to be honest, how I went from 35 to, like, 200 in just over a year. Um, it's crazy. It's not something I'd never think that would happen. But if any of you watching hasn't already subscribed to any of the people I have just mentioned, I highly recommend you do. And if you do subscribe to Nano, especially Nano, this is for nano because he's always messaging me like how have like whenever we talk it's always like how have you done this how is this incredible what am i doing wrong to grow he's doing nothing wrong i've just been extremely lucky with the whole thing and i've put i've put work in of course i'm not gonna say that i haven't put work in because i've put a hell of a lot of work in but so have all these other people and if you do decide that from what i've said now that you're watching this and go you know what, I am going to go subscribe to these people. You don't even have to like their content or watch their videos or whatever, but I highly recommend you do. Just go over, subscribe to them, and then comment on each of their latest video Toby sent me. And then they'll know that I sent them over and that you're now a subscriber to their channel. Say, I subscribed and Toby sent me is what you should comment. And hopefully... We can help these guys grow as much as I have because I am blessed to have grown this much further than a lot of these people. Uh, I mean, Quirky's still ahead of me, but uh, maybe Quirky doesn't apply. But if you haven't subscribed to Quirky, go and check him out anyway. I'm going to be nice. But yeah, that could have sounded like the biggest big headed sort of conversation that has ever hit the face of YouTube. But to be honest, I just want to sort of spread the love because I know a lot of people watch this series and a lot of people like this series and above all, it's their favourite series and not a lot of people port themselves over to also watching SMPDX, which I'd highly recommend. But if you're only a fan of the modded, I understand that, but I highly recommend you go and watch SMPDX if you purely like my personality and like me talking because smpdx is another outlet for me talking although i do edit the videos and put more time into them because i prefer them to be of a higher quality with what the content i'm doing and this is where i explore and i explore ideas with what i'm talking about and i explore talking to you guys as well and i mean i'm doing this through the comments if you comment and it makes an impact in my mind i will definitely mention it for for example ray you know who you are you comment on every single one of my videos multiple times and i am so glad you do because you must be one of my biggest fans and it is incredible seeing your name pop up after every single video because i know that you are one of the people who are out there watching me every single day and there are more people like that as well but one that definitely sticks in my head is ray so thank you for doing that and i hope i am saying your name right by the way um let's hope i am so yeah if you watch this far comment down below and say hi and say that you watch this far and i am thankful for your existence on my channel as i am for everyone who comments there are multiple people who do comment on nearly every video and a lot of those people started on lord of the rings moved over to smpdx and are still with me today which is incredible of you and thank you so much for that and i hope that we can get at least a, at least one person to go and subscribe to someone in my featured channels list that they 
didn't origin didn't originally subscribe to and just comment on their video toby sent me i subscribed or something like that just to show them that i really do appreciate what they have done for me and i want to give back to them as well and I know pretty much none of them watch my Lord of the Rings series because a lot of them are very busy and don't have the time to watch an hour long episode. And Lord of the Rings and mods is just generally something they're not really interested in. That's sort of my kind of thing to do. Everyone else does vanilla. I do mods. Some of them do mods, but I, I, I'm mainly the person who does mods. So I know they probably won't have watched this. So I hope that you go and surprise them with a lovely comment and a subscription but yeah i just sort of wanted to give back a little we've already made it very far we're already out, almost out into linden but yeah that's just something i wanted to do to give back to the people who have really been there and yeah it's it's a nice thing to do i might actually be able to make an hour-long episode i'm not sure it'd be probably like 50 50 something minutes i would think but that took a lot of talking that was a lot of me rambling on about not what's going on on the screen just as we walk because we've seen all of linden we've seen the blue mountains there's not a whole lot left to explore that is new so we'll just keep wandering and talking like this for the next uh episode or a few because we made it from like here to here in this episode so that means like to their next episode to their next one and probably back to the shire in the next one so it's gonna be a bit of a couple talky episodes with not probably not a whole lot new going on but we'll we'll keep try and keep things interesting but if you have anything you would like me to discuss please comment down below and i will do my best to go on to that topic i will not be doing anything that is going to get anybody angry i'm not going to be doing anything that is significantly controversial but if you want me to discuss my thoughts on the Lord of the Rings films, the Lord of the Rings books, because I have read and watched the films multiple and read the books multiple times. Uh, so I am quite knowledgeable on the Lord of the Rings. I know quite a bit. So if you want to quiz me on something that I found interesting, I will try and make a list for the next couple episodes and go through each topic. If you have, uh, if you want to hear some thoughts on any other films, any other film franchises, I'm a big fan of Star Wars as well. Uh, as well as many other things so just comment down below and it, i'll talk about it if i know anything about it if i have a view on it uh i am a huge fan of lego so if any of you guys are lego fans out there i mean you saw i uploaded my lego ucs millennium falcon unboxing yesterday but if you any of you are fans of lego please comment down below asking me questions about that what my thoughts are on certain things what my thoughts are on certain sets if you really just want to ask me about anything uh, this is the perfect season to get me to talk about it. This is the perfect season to get me... Uh, well, this is the perfect point in the season to get me to talk about it. So, it is one of those things that it's... It's sort of a perfect time to get your questions in. I, I'll sort of treat it a little bit, maybe like a little bit of a QA, and a But... Uh, for the next couple episodes, but it's going to be a more in-depth Q&A than you usually get if you do a Q&A video for about 10 minutes. It's going to be more... If you ask me a question saying, what is your YouTube advice or something generic, I will put a lot more thought into my answer than a generic answer would. So feel free to ask me anything about anything, how to make quali quality videos, what I do to my audio to make it sound uh, better than most, what I do to record my screen, what equipment I have, what I'm planning to upgrade in the future, uh, what I'm planning, what I'm hoping for with my YouTube channel, anything to do with YouTube, anything to do with anything, anything to do with Lord of the Rings, Lego, Minecraft, Star Wars, films, TV, not really TV, I don't wa watch a lot of TV, school even, uh, thoughts on really anything, you can really ask me my thoughts on what of whether the earth is flat or not, I really don't mind, just Make sure it's not a topic that's going to get anyone offended. Well, everyone gets offended, but not... Just don't make it like a topic like, what are my thoughts? Uh, just don't make it a topic where I can easily offend a lot of people. Just make it... Just ask anything, really. Just comment down below, asking me questions in this episode. Uh, just write... Uh, just write a question, and I will write it down on my phone. I'll write it down on my 
uh, on a notepad or something and next episode I will be doing my best to answer a lot of those questions and if I run out of time I will do it in the next episode. I'll say the same thing next episode for you guys to comment down below to give me questions and it's just going to be sort of a good opportunity for me and you to form a bit of a better relationship of content creator to viewer because it's always good to have a good relationship with those who you are providing for whether that's in a business whether you have a good relationship with your customers if you work in a shop or work anywhere you have a good relationship with your co-workers good relationship with your higher-ups just keep your relationships good with people but the most important relationship i think is the relationship with between you and the people you are providing for not the people who are providing to you the people who you are providing for and that just means that they they look up to you in a sort of way that not many other people do. And those are the people that are keeping things like my YouTube channel alive, any other people's YouTube channel alive. They are the people that I hear that are looking up to me, looking up to you, looking up to whoever. So treat them the best. Try and treat them as best as you can. And then worry about treating your higher-ups good but you should definitely also definitely worry about treating your higher ups good because it's a mutual thing for you to treat your lower downs good and them to treat you good because you can't have someone who just treats the lower downs good and doesn't treat the higher ups good because then no one would treat the higher ups good which would eventually mean that no one treats anyone good so if you get what i'm saying in that respect i highly doubt you do but i tried to explain it um <laughs> But yeah, if you understand what I'm getting at with this whole treat people right, essentially, I'd just like to see you comment down below with what questions you have so we can build a better relationship. And I think we have made it into Linden. I think that is a good place to end this episode off. We are going to keep wandering Linden in the next couple of episodes, answering all your questions. And if you did make it to the end of the video, I am hugely thankful for your existence on my channel. I know they're long videos to get through. You could just put them on the background doing homework. You could put them on the background of you playing yourself. You could put them on in the background of anything whilst you're going to sleep, whilst you're doing whatever. I really don't mind as long as you watch as much of it as you can or want to. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this episode. It's a bit more of a talky one today, but I got a lot of topics out that I wanted to speak about. Next episode, we will start by raiding this house and answering all of your questions that I hope you will leave down below. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.